Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 3.11 from chapter number 3. The problem is simplify the boolean functions using 5 variable maps. We are given 5 variable sum of min term functions. Then we have to simplify those boolean functions using 5 variable maps. So for 5 variable maps, Okay, maps we have to make two map of 4 by 4 or 4 variable maps okay for the first map what we will do we will assume that a equal to 0 or a bar for a bar values we will use this map and for a values or a equal to 1 values so we will use this map so the first term is okay from 0 to uh, 0 to 15 this map will cover and from 16 to 31 this map will cover 0 1 0 1 2 3 4 then 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 up to 15 this map covers then from 16 we'll have one here okay then 17 18 19 then 20 21 22 23 then 24 25 then we have 26 27 28 29 okay then 30 31 so these are the two four variable k maps we can combine like this this is one map okay the other values are zero here okay okay i am just filling it zero 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 and from this map we can combine like this and for this one we can combine like this now we have to write the expression so from the for this k map okay we have a bar okay here we have combined like this we cannot combine here so we have to write here first of all a bar then for this we have zero zero means okay 0 0 and 0 1. so b bar from this side and d bar from this side b bar d bar then plus okay this one is complete from this table we can see that from this club we can find it to be for this table a is 1 so we'll write a then from this combination we'll get d bar e d bar e first one will be this one a bar b bar sorry a bar b bar and d bar because d is 0 0 okay then we have a d bar e and from the third term we will have we can see that these two one are pre also present here okay so a equal to for this term also have a equal to 0 and a equal to 1 so we can cancel a and directly we can find out for b c d e okay so for b c d e we have b bar c bar okay b bar c bar and d bar b bar c bar and d bar okay so this is the solution of the first part of the problem we have to see the common terms if we have common terms okay here we can see that this club and this club are the same okay so we can ignore or we can neglect a because a equal to 0 and a equal to 1 that is 0 a is transiting from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 so we can ignore it okay now let us solve the second part of the problem in the second part we have we are given with a boolean expression and we have to find out the minimized boolean expression so a bar b a bar b bar c e bar so a bar is this map okay we will fill up here okay a bar b bar now we will find out b bar c e bar b bar c b bar c is this one okay this row and e bar e bar value you can write here this one is b c d and this one is e okay so from here we can see that b bar c is this row because b bar c this one this row and e bar e bar means this first column and the fourth column so we'll put here one and one for the second term we will have b bar c bar d bar e bar here we can see that we do not have a that means we have to fill up this value in both this table for a equal to 0 as well as a equal to 1 okay so b bar c bar d bar e bar so this one will be the first okay this one will be filled up 
b bar c bar d bar e bar because whenever we have zero that means it is complement okay so b bar c bar d bar e bar will fill up here as well as we will fill up here okay then we have a bar b bar d bar a bar is this one table okay now we have to fill up only this table for this term okay then b bar d bar b bar d bar means b bar is this two row okay and d bar means this two column okay so we are we have already one one here so we'll fill up one and one okay then we have b bar c d bar okay that means here we do not have a and a or a bar that means we have to fill up this value in both of the tables okay so b bar c d bar b bar c is this row okay here also this row and d bar d bar is this two column okay so we have already fill up this two okay so we'll fill up here then we have a bar c d a bar is this table okay then we'll fill up c d here we'll see that c is equal to one for this two second and the third row and and this one for these two columns okay so we will have the common terms will be fill up here okay then we have a bar b d a bar is this one table okay so from this table we will fill up now b d b is this one this two row okay d is last two column okay then we have to fill up this two because already we have fill up this one and one okay now we will find out the expression now we'll combine these values to make pair okay and we'll write out the simplified expression so from this table we can combine like this then we can combine like this okay then we can combine like this okay and from this table we can combine like this and this one here we can see that this combination is also present here okay you can see here this one is present and this one is also present so whenever we will be writing the terms we will have to neglect a and a bar for these two okay let us first write these two we have to neglect a this term is present for a equal to 1 as well as a equal to 0 table okay so for this term we will have b bar d bar e bar b bar d bar e bar okay plus for this term we will have b bar c d bar b bar c d bar so these two term we have covered okay from this table now we can see that from this term we will have a bar plus a bar because it is a bar table okay a bar then we have b bar and d bar b bar and d bar plus for this term we will have a bar b bar c plus for this term we will have a bar a bar is because this table a bar is common okay so a bar then we have b and d b and d so this is the simplified boolean expression thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you